Hello today's video we have the following content. What kind of chemical reaction will Song Dadan and Zhang Han produce when they meet? This is definitely the most embarrassing and unspeakable three minutes in the history of variety shows. Especially when the old actor Song Dadan, who is calm and unyielding, meets the overlord Zhang Han, she really knows what it means to be feared by the young. As early as the hot pot session before the meeting, Guo Kilin, who arrived first, became the first unlucky guy. As soon as they met, Song Dandan asked about his relationship status, which scared Guo Kilin, who had just sat down, into a cold sweat. He had to pull out those things about his early love and tried to get away with it. But at this time, Shu Qi walked in and joined Song Dandan's camp. Song Dandan is the kind of relative that I least want to see when visiting relatives during the Chinese New Year. That kind of forced questioning really makes me turn my face on the spot. Shuki, do you have a crush on someone? Right now, I really don't have one, but basically I can get it if I want it. Oh, no, I didn't say much, I didn't say much. Be more generous, girls don't like this, you said that you like generous people, if you have some, just say it immediately, you have confessed here, I can find it. Next, it was the turn of the second unlucky guy Wang Sulong. Song Dandan asked him about his representative works. Seeing that Wang Sulong refused to say, Song Dandan began to ask about his relationship. At this time, Song Dandan had not thought that he would soon meet his lifelong enemy, the domineering CEO Zhang Han. After all, he is a man who has played a domineering CEO. From his conversation with the staff on the way to Taohuawu, he showed his domineering aura that is not easy to mess with. After everyone gathered, everyone looked at each other, no one spoke and the scene was a little awkward. So Song Dandan, who was the oldest, organized everyone present to introduce themselves one by one. Due to Song Dandan's authority, everyone said their professions and representative works obediently even if they were embarrassed. But when it came to the domineering CEO Zhang Han, he was not so scared. It was obvious that Song Dandan was not satisfied with Zhang Han's introduction, so he continued to ask, What have you played? You are a famous actor. The scene fell into a deeper embarrassment. At this time, Wang Sulan quickly stepped out to ease the atmosphere. He said directly that many of you here actually got in because of your looks. At this time, Zhang Han was also a little unhappy. He said this meaningful sentence. I am just an actor. That's it. I have seen people if I have seen them, and I have not seen them if I haven't seen them. Even if I haven't seen the dramas performed by many people here, I know them. Zhang Han said it very well. I haven't seen many people's dramas, but I know them which shows respect for others. Instead of saying I haven't seen it, you can tell me one of your most famous ones. Next news. The five bad dramas criticized by CCTV have all been removed from the shelves, and some have even been banned before they were finished. If the screenwriters of the current domestic TV series are not intoxicated by the deep aroma of art, it would be difficult for them to conceive such absurd plots. The plots are so bizarre that it is shocking, as if the screenwriters are driven by some magical power. In the anti-Japanese drama, the brave 8th Root Army soldiers are portrayed as supermen who tear the devils apart with their hands, but they live in luxurious villas and have shiny hair. In idle dramas, the male protagonists frequently show indecent behavior, and there are even absurd plots that directly perform birth scenes at the party, which is shocking. Are these incredible plots really written by normal screenwriters? This strange conception is unbelievable, as if they have traveled through time and space and come to a world full of fantasy colors. These TV dramas that have destroyed all three views are unacceptable, and CCTV has even criticized them for their poor quality. The audience expressed dissatisfaction, and some dramas were even removed from the shelves in the middle of the broadcast due to a flood of bad reviews, which is a shame for the industry. CCTV News and Kilo Evening News reported that on May 8, 2019, the highly anticipated The Investiture of the Gods was accused of interpreting classical mythology too secularly and downgrading sacred love to street-style emotions, which aroused widespread attention and discussion. The Investiture of the Gods, starring Wang Likan, is unique. It was originally thought to be a reappearance of classical mythology, but unexpectedly, this version of the remake was unexpected, which greatly subverted people's cognition of the original work. It is really a fresh work. When the play was first launched, the lineup was dazzling. The male stars were handsome and the female stars were like fairies in the painting. The picture effects were exquisite and dazzling, as if they were in a colorful art hall. In terms of acting skills, all the actors showed extraordinary superb skills, as if leading us to the mysterious mythological world, making people intoxicated and lingering. 
However, the crux of the problem lies precisely in the plot design, which is simply incredible and shocking. The absurdity is at the peak and unbelievable. In the ancient legend of the investiture of the gods, Daji and Baoyukao were deeply in love and had a tragic fate. However, Daji was unfortunately invaded by a fox demon, and she went astray and embarked on the road of evil, which made people sigh. In this drama, Daji and Yang Jian started a touching love affair, and what is even more amazing is that she can separate from the fox demon and become two completely different beings. Such a setting undoubtedly subverted my traditional understanding of mythological dramas. Speaking of the role of Daji, it should be gentle and moving, but in this drama, she transformed because of hatred and became cold and ruthless, with cruel means, like a witch who kills people like crazy, which is frightening. Under her rule, innocent people suffered from suffering, which was heartbreaking. The tragic situation was like a broken picture, deeply hurting everyone's heart. Shockingly, this drama openly challenged the radio and television regulations and arbitrarily tampered with historical facts. Such behavior is really unacceptable. This disrespect for history is undoubtedly a serious insult to the audience's IQ. Therefore, before the TV series was finished, it was publicly criticized by CCTV and was eventually forced to be removed from the shelves. This move is undoubtedly a severe warning of its quality issues. The drama was controversial as soon as it was broadcast and was hailed as a small black room. Its plot seriously subverted the audience's three views. Despite the strong cast and excellent production team, it is difficult to cover up the flaws in its plot, which is really regrettable. Thunder Warrior was originally a TV series aimed at showing the bravery of the War of Resistance, but the screenwriter's creativity seems to be a bit biased, and the original solemn history of the War of Resistance was adapted into a frivolous fashion show, which is regrettable. As we all know, the former anti-Japanese 8th Ruth Army was in an extremely difficult environment, but in their hearts, fighting foreign enemies and defending the country always occupied the supreme position, which was their unswerving belief and mission. In this drama, the 8th Ruth Army soldiers showed a completely different image. They wore brand new uniforms, their hair was combed meticulously, and they had a shiny luster, as if they had been smeared with hairspray. What's more surprising is that they actually lived in a magnificent villa. What is shocking is that the nurses on the battlefield, dressed in many skirts and high heels, walked through the environment of gunfire, and performed their duties with a firm will. This scene is jaw-dropping, and the audience is full of doubts, is this a performance of the bravery of the War of Resistance, or a catwalk show of fashion trends? It is difficult to distinguish its true intention. Are these plots really suitable for appearing in anti-Japanese dramas? This is obviously disrespectful and blasphemous to that difficult period in historical facts. We should respect history more and avoid distorting facts. Such a gorgeous outer packaging, but with a superficial plot, what is the intention? As the children of China, this move does not cover up the heaviness and cruelty of history, which makes people think deeply. The audience responded enthusiastically to this plot, and CCTV also expressed concern and criticized the drama by name. Innovation is valuable, but respecting history should be the first priority. How can it be neglected? I hope the producers will treat it with caution and not forget their original intentions. According to a report by People's Daily on November 15, 2020, we learned that in today's digital age, the speed of information dissemination is getting faster and faster. For the public, accurate and timely information is crucial. We should actively pay attention to the news released by authoritative media to ensure that the information obtained is true and reliable. At the same time, we should also improve our personal information literacy enhance our ability to identify information, and avoid being misled by false information. In this era of information explosion, we need to keep a clear mind, look at various information rationally, and jointly create a healthy and good information environment. After CCTV made severe criticisms of the drama, the drama was quickly removed from the broadcast platform and no longer broadcast to the public, which attracted widespread attention and discussion. The drama Gentlemen of East District 8 is well known. It was originally expected to show the true face of urban life. However, after the broadcast, it was known that its unique characteristics made people think deeply about its unique plot charm. Hearing that the screenwriter of this drama was Zhang Han, a trace of expectation emerged in my heart. His masterpiece Shan Shan is Coming had an excellent reputation and was deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. The image of the domineering precedent was deeply rooted in the hearts of the people and became a classic in the hearts of everyone. The plot of this drama is indeed old-fashioned, and it still follows the root of the overbearing precedent is in love with me, 
which is a bit outdated now. Zhang Han seems to have a special liking for this type of subject matter, but the plot development is bland and difficult to resonate with the audience, which is a bit boring. Not to mention those old plot settings, the plot of the first episode alone is enough to open people's eyes and appreciate an unprecedented new world. In the first episode, the character played by Zhang Han mistakenly entered someone else's room and spent a night with the heroine. The plot was bizarre and hilarious, showing an unexpected and wonderful encounter. This move seems to regard the audience as ignorant bystanders. Those simple plots that have long been outdated have never been interpreted in this way. Such a plot is really hard to convince people. Although it is the first time to enter the field of screenwriting, can the bizarreness of this plot really be close to the real face of real life? This can't help but make people have deep doubts. What is even more absurd is that he has no regrets, but is convinced that the heroine intends to get close to him. Such an arrogant attitude makes people feel unhappy and angry. What is even more unacceptable is that the drama is full of some incredible remarks, which is really unbearable. These remarks are absurd and simply subvert the audience's cognition, which makes people dumbfounded. Menstruation is the normal physiological state of women, not the anomaly of bleeding for 10,000 years without dying. The saying that women are beautiful when they are thin and practical when they are fat is shallow and nonsense, which is disgusting. This kind of plot is simply extremely disrespectful to women, not to mention the frequent vulgar plots, such as pulling the heroine's underwear straps casually and violently attacking her breasts, which makes people feel disgusted and disgusting. It is really puzzle in that the drama can be on the screen. After watching a few episodes, it is shocking that my three views are completely destroyed. The bizarre plot in the drama is unbelievable and unprecedented. The drama mainly attracts male-centered audiences, especially those who prefer traditional male images. Zhang Han's image of a domineering president was deeply rooted in the hearts of the people, but this drama has seriously damaged his image. The authoritative information reviewed by People's Daily Online shows that the knowledge and information we obtain are strictly screened and verified, ensuring the authenticity and accuracy of the information and providing readers with a reliable source of information. Fortunately, CCTV promptly removed such dramas from the shelves, avoiding their potential negative impact and protecting the mental health of the audience, which is undoubtedly a positive contribution to society. Many palace fighting dramas that are popular with the audience have been removed from the shelves, which has aroused widespread attention. At the same time, some TV dramas with outrageous plots have not been spared and have disappeared from the screen. Take Ruiye's Royal Love in the Palace starring Joe Soon as an example. This drama can be called a unique clear stream in the palace drama, which is profound and restrained, but also has a deep undercurrent, which is fascinating. It was once glorious, but it was eclipsed and removed from the shelves under the harsh criticism of CCTV, and it no longer has the glory of the past. As time goes by, the former glory has finally become a passing cloud. Regarding the historical issues of Ruiye's royal love in the palace, although it is presented in the form of ancient costumes, the historical figures and events shown in the play are quite different from the real history, which has triggered widespread discussion. In particular, the two characters of Concubine Lin and Ruai are very different from the descriptions in history books, making it difficult for viewers to correspond them with the real historical images. Concubine Lin is portrayed as a woman with deep scheming and cunning means, while Ruai is presented as a weak, powerless, and disgraced deposed queen. The two are in sharp contrast and their fates are completely different. This plot distorts the historical truth, misleads the audience's correct understanding of history, and has a profound negative impact on the image of historical figures. It is not a wise move. The values of this play need to be discussed. It overbeautifies the image of the emperor and even promotes a luxurious style. This concept of luxury and enjoyment is undoubtedly misleading to the social atmosphere. The emperors shown in the play wear gorgeous clothes every day, enjoy delicacies, and are surrounded by singing and dancing, as if they are in a fairyland. However, is such a life really worth advocating? Whether its values are appropriate is worth pondering. This drama deeply reveals the complex inner world of Joe Soon's character. Although she claims to sympathize with the weak, she finds it difficult to completely get rid of her own position in reality, showing the contradictions and struggles of human nature. Wei Yanwen's situation is lamentable. On the one hand, she claims to be righteous and kind, but on the other hand, she bullies her. This double standard attitude is really unacceptable. The logic of this behavior is puzzling, as if there is a significant crack in the positioning of the characters before and after, which seems quite abrupt and makes it difficult to grasp her true intentions. 
even if the acting skills are superb, it is difficult to save the absurd character setting and plot development, which is deeply regrettable. Such creation obviously lacks logic and depth, and it is difficult to resonate with the audience. The drama was eventually removed from the shelves due to its negative impact on the social ecology. Its carefully crafted palace fighting plot only shows the intrigue and jealous disputes among a group of women, losing the depth and breadth of art. Information Source, Beijing Daily, published on January 25, 2019. In the information age, accurate sources of information are crucial. It provides us with reliable knowledge and opinions to help us better understand the world. Although story of Yangtze Palace has been removed from the shelves, its production level cannot be ignored. The pictures are delicate and exquisite, the costumes are gorgeous and complicated, and the actors' performances are even more vivid, presenting the characters vividly to the audience. However, this does not mean that it can avoid talking about history. In the play, many historical events are distorted to the point of being unrecognizable, and key historical figures are also hastily portrayed. This frivolous attitude towards history has made many viewers dissatisfied. In the play, the character of Wei Yingluo transforms from a humble palace maid to a noble concubine, and her growth path is full of hardships. With her unyielding perseverance and outstanding wisdom, she has won the admiration of everyone and has become a beautiful landscape in the play. However, some of her behaviors in the play seem too extreme. In order to achieve her goals, she does not hesitate to frame others, and even sacrifices innocent people, which is shocking. Such character images are not only very different from real historical figures, but also diametrically opposed to the core values of modern society, which is particularly abrupt. The characteristics and style of displays cannot be compared with those of the ancients, nor can it be recognized by modern people. Although the male characters in the play are handsome and elegant, most of them show too weak characteristics, have a significant dependence on women, and lack the toughness and independence that men should have. Contemporary society advocates equality between men and women and mutual respect, but Story of Yangtze Palace presents the outdated concept of strong women and weak men, which seems to deviate from the modern value pursuit, which is deeply regrettable. After all, it is difficult for such TV series to continue to stay on the screen. Its short-lived brilliance cannot cover up its internal shortcomings, and it will gradually fade out of the audience's field of vision under the baptism of time. These TV series that have been repeatedly removed from the shelves can't help but cause people to think deeply, why has the TV series market fallen into such a situation? What reasons and problems are hidden behind this? Today's TV series market is really saying. Looking back on the past, classic dramas have emerged in an endless stream, the plots are gripping, and the actors' acting skills are superb. After watching, it is intoxicating and memorable. It is indeed a masterpiece of film and television. The TV drama market seems to be in a puzzling situation. Many dramas have been removed from the shelves one after another, raising widespread questions, where does this series of changes come from? When it comes to film and television production, some producers over-pursue short-term profits and tend to use traffic stars and hype topics to quickly recover costs, but ignore the essence and depth of the script itself, which is undoubtedly a disregard for artistic creation. Such dramas may attract the audience's attention for a short time when they are first broadcast. However, due to the lack of depth and connotation in the content, it is often difficult to maintain the audience's interest, causing the audience to lose enthusiasm after a few episodes. Such a vicious cycle has caused the TV drama market to gradually lose the trust of the audience, the market reputation has been increasingly eroded, and the audience's expectations for the works have also decreased. The frequent occurrence of irregular phenomena and speculative behaviors in the market, the lack of regulatory mechanisms and the unscientific pricing principles have led to large fluctuations in TV drama prices and chaos in the market order. In order to survive, some small companies often use improper means to seek film sources, such as creating malicious hype and exaggerating ratings, in order to get a share of the fierce market competition. In today's society, information is vast, entertainment forms emerge in an endless stream, and the audience's own choices are becoming more and more diverse, which is also a link that cannot be ignored. There are many viewers who seek excitement and novelty. Even if they are faced with shreddy dramas, they can still immerse themselves in them and enjoy them. Such market demand has caused some producers to launch low-quality dramas unscrupulously. Although domestic TV dramas face challenges, we still need to be patient and confident. I believe that in the near future, it will find the right direction, regain vitality, and bloom with brilliant brilliance. Thank you for watching the video, 
Please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,